Hello and back again to another tips and tricks tutorial for Bitwix Studio to speed up your workflow and you can totally speed up your workflow if you use templates. What is template? Template is a normal song where you can add anything, tracks, clips, whatever, which gets you started when you start out Bitwig for a specific task. For example, I set up all my studio environment and when I as a template and when I open a Bitwig, this is directly ready and available. For example, I have here my whole hardware setup put into a subfolder. There is a Polysyn ready to play if you want to push out some ideas. And uh, this hardware section is more of interest because all my hardware in the studio is ready to use. I don't have to configure channels or anything. This directly is working, so you're not putting out of the flow for creating your music. For example, I have the microphone is here. I can plug in a bass. It's directly connected. I have a Roland drum kit, which also triggers MIDI here and is ready to play. And for example, you, I have a lot of hardware outboard stuff. So for example, here a Yamaha Mox F and directly the MIDI port is connected. So I have a hardware instrument in there and I receive the audio input. So all of these synthesizers are connected to a specific hardware input so everything is ready to play and available and this speeds up your workflow massively. I also have my modular configured and I deactivated those modules here because I noticed they take quite some performance and if you don't need them you can disable them. Another thing to do is for example if you have a regular mix projects you need to work on. For example I regularly every week basically I record my band when we come up with a new song or worked on a new song and then the mixing task is basically all the same so it's the same drum kit it's the same guitar the same number of people the same number of tracks so why not do a pre-mix and just exchange the audio files so that's what I exactly did my band Erilyn here I have a drum kit set up which we record let's close that down for a second you see bass drum snare some toms overhead and all of these channels are pre-configured with the necessary plugins I use. For example, I have a Neutron instance for all the compressor EQing and stuff and another compressor for MUI, which I like a lot on the bass drum snare. Also, the toms have the same things on the overheads. And for example, on the summing bus, I use also UE as satin to give it some more drive and warmth. And then there is space, guitar and all these other channels. And this makes the mixing task very fast because basically I just drag and drop in the audio files and I have already a very good basic mix and then you can just concentrate on fine tuning and very fast have a new mix and what I also frequently do is I re-record normally the keys or experiment with new sounds because I have those nice backtracking now and something you need to be aware of is if you drop in plugins which cause latency for example I have also on the master channel I have for mastering the Ozone 8 plugin, which is a very nice mastering plugin, but this plugin introduces a very high latency, so it's very hard to play keys if you have that active. And so this one is deactivated, and you need to be careful that you not just only turn it off, you need really to disable it because otherwise it will still introduce latency. And if you configure the template, you absolutely need to store it. So there you go, simply to file, and you can say save as template and then you can give it a name some tags and all the usual parameters and the one you most use so always want to have ready when you start Bitwig you can configure that in the settings if you go to behavior settings behavior and there you can choose uh, from that list of templates your favorite one and you can say use it also as a template for new project so it's directly ready when you start so create yourself some nice templates and when you're done make some funky music <laughs> 